Hey everyone, it's Helen Mooney from White Pine Homestead. And today I wanna to start a series of videos about the things that we are doing in our home to become more self-sustainable. Some of these things I've been doing for quite some time, but I thought they would be a good way to kind of show you the overall picture of things that we're trying to do to become self-sustainable uh, and not just the things we're doing outside. Although I am excited as we do those projects to video those and share them with you as well. Uh, a lot of the things that I do in my house, I've been doing for quite some time, um, anywhere from nine to five years, depending on what it is. And so I just want to start showing those things to you guys to give you an idea of the things you can do in your home that will also help you along this journey of more self-sustainability. I'd like to say that I believe that self-sustainability and frugality go hand in hand. And I'm not talking about being cheap. I'm talking about being cautious with our dollar and how far it goes. And so we certainly in this home, if we need a really good tool and we have to um, pay a price to get it, then we do. But there are certainly opportunities and ways to do that for less money if we pay attention to what we're doing. And sometimes just be patient and waiting for the right thing to come along. So, but today I'm going to show you this way that I am using to seal the jars of my dried food. Now, I dry foods in my dehydrator, I buy some dried foods, and I uh, don't like when I buy dried food to leave those items in boxes or plastic, so I put them in mason jars. So to seal those mason jars of things that have already been processed or aren't cooked, or say it's noodles or... or um, I'm dehydrating onions or something of that nature, and I'm not going to use those for a while, or I have an abundance of those, and I want to seal those up and put them on my shelf, and then just open them as I need them as I go. It'll make their life longer, and they'll stay a little bit more fresh. So I found this really neat tool, and I haven't been using it that long. So out of the things I'm going to be sharing with you, this is actually one of the newer ones. Food saver, uh, a lot of people have the food saver um, things that seal up bags and they use them for their freezer items but they also have these great little tools that you can connect to their um, machine with a hose that uh, seals mason jars and they have them this one's a wide mouth they have them in wide mouth and regular mouth I don't actually have a food saver bag sealer because we have a different brand and so I don't have a hose to connect to my machine that I have to use this item but I really wanted to use it and so I found this really neat trick that you basically can uh, buy another item, a brake bleeder, and use it along with this to seal your dried food jars. So I'm going to move the camera down just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. But first I'm going to tell you real quick we are uh, sealing up jars that are powdered milk. Now I want to say I'm not a fan of powdered milk. I remember drinking it when I went to camp in the summer and I don't love it. And I don't particularly feed it to my children. The only reason I really buy powdered milk is that I make hot cocoa with it for my children and I can buy it in big boxes or plastic bags and then reseal it into jars and put that on my shelf. Now, for whatever reason you may be buying powdered milk, um, this is a great tool to be able to seal it up and put it away, keep it fresh longer and keep bugs out and things of that nature. That's another thing. I don't want bugs in my food. So that being said, I'm going to move the camera down here and show you how to seal up this mason jar. We're doing a half gallon mason jar. Let's see if I can move this down, try and keep the lighting decent. Let's see, can you see it very well? All right, I think, there we go. I think you can see it right here. So here's our mason jar. And we're going to pop this little thing on. Now this is a brand new seal. I have been told that if you're using a brand new seal and doing this method, you can pop it back off and then reuse it to seal. I have not personally tried that and so I'm not going to uh, put my name on that yet. But I will at some point give that a shot. So you stick this on there. goes on pretty firmly. And then you put the hose of the brake bleeder in here. Now I just bought a brake bleeder kit off of Amazon. Um, and funny as that is, I had to tell my husband, hey, if you find a brake bleeder in the kitchen cabinets, please don't take that. That's one of my kitchen tools. Uh, I wanted a brand new one personally. I don't know, maybe you could use a different hose and uh, use one that uh, your husband has in his garage. But I just thought it'd be easier to have my own. So you take the little 
hose and the little item here. You're just going to hold it in place. It doesn't click in. And then you're going to pump this. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can move a few things. There we go. Then you're going to pump this until you get to 15 pounds or slightly over is what I'm going to go. That takes a little work. It's a good little exercise. You can do it. Let's get a little exercise in while we're working in the kitchen, right? Food doesn't have to just put weight on us. It feeds our bodies. And in this case, we're putting it up. So it's a little bit of a workout. Almost there. And bam. So it doesn't actually take very long. Did you hear that? When I popped that off there. Okay, we're going to take this off. And we're going to see that I am holding that by the edges. And that is perfectly sealed. So it is a great tool to put up your dried foods. All right. So that was just a quick little thing I want to show you today that I thought would be helpful. I'm excited to show you some other things that we've been doing that I think you will um, appreciate learning as well. If there are any things that you have, you're like, hey, what are you doing here? What are you doing that? Please put a comment below. Ask me. I would love to be able to answer those questions for you or shoot a video on that particular item to maybe help you along in your journey. So if you enjoyed this, uh, if you got anything out of it, I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up and possibly like it or yeah, sorry, thumbs up is the liking. Hit the su subscribe button and the little notification bell and share it with your friends if you think it can help them. Hope you all are doing great and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.